Okay, I want to make a quick video on if you're getting this error, band error or band plan error, and I want to explain to you what that is. Uh, the Anytone radio and in the CPS, I think there's about 16 different band plans you could select. Uh, so if you want to change band plans, uh, take a look at my code plug. I've changed my band plan from the original band plan to the 400 to 520 and 136 to 174 band plan. If I go to model and model information, you can see on the CPS, my band plan is set for band 12. On my radio, my band plan is set for band 11. There's a one-off number between the radio and the CPS, but they'll show you the frequencies on, on the radio to match up to these. So right now, this uh, code plug of mine is on band 12. If I took a radio that was on band 1 and I tried dumping the code plug in, you're going to get that band error. So here's how you have to change your code plug back to band 0. First thing you should do is take your radio and put your radio on the appropriate band that, you, that you're going to be using. If it's band 0, band 1, any band you want, you change that on the radio by pressing the PTT in the 1 key and turning it on. You'll come into a test mode and you're going to use your channel dial uh, to change the band you want to go to. Okay, now I don't want to lose all this data when I change my band plan on the CPS. So the first thing I'm going to do is go Tools, Export Data Conversion File, and I'm going to save my DCF file uh, to my computer, any way you want to do it. I'm not going to save it right now, only because uh, I just saved it prior to making this video. So you want to export all your data to a DCF file. This way all your data remains there. You can't just save it to a code plug. So export your data. Once that's done, now you can go to Model, Model Information, and now change the band plan into CPS. So I'll change it to band one. That's like the default band that the radios come in. When I hit OK, notice now this one goes from 400 to 480. When I say OK, the CPS is going to say, hey, if you're going to change the band plan on this radio or in the CPS code plug, I got to wipe everything out on the code plug. And I'm going to say OK. Now notice this code plug, which is empty, is on 400 to 480 megahertz. That's the right band plan that we want to go to or whichever band plan you want to go to. So now all you have to do is go File, Open. Uh, at the bottom here, File Type, it defaults to RDT. You want to click that down and hit DCF. And here's the DCF file that I saved with all my data in it. And now I'm just going to click Open. What's going to happen is all the data that you saved in the DCF file will be brought back into this code plug. So you don't have to recreate anything. Once the data is back into the code plug and your radios on the correct band plan of as your CPS is, you'll be able to just write all this information right back to your radio. And uh, we'll just wait for it to open up the DCF file. I got about the 1200 channels in here, about 70 zones and whatever, 120,000, you know, user database. So it just takes uh, about a minute and this is real time. But you'll notice all my data does come back in uh, to the CPS. And then once it's back in, like I said, and you write it to the radio, you got to save this uh, code plug, and this will be the code plug you work on. Your old code plugs, if you work on it, you're not going to get that back into the radio unless you have to go through the whole process again of exporting to DCF and everything else. So, so all my data came back, and you can see I'm still on the 400 to 480, the new code, the new band plan I selected. And uh, just write it to the radio, and you'll be good to go. Very good. KB2MXV clear.